with Creative Cuts. Thanks for joining me. Lots of people are moving to pocket style scrapbooking and that means that you're probably working with 3 by 4 photos but as you know photo developers develop 4 by 6 photos and if you print them at home on your own printer the paper that you buy is probably 4 by 6 as well. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to combine two 3 by 4 photos onto one 4 by 6 image file that you can then print off on your own printer or take into a developer to have printed professionally. So I'm doing the tutorial in Photoshop Elements and if you're using a different version of Elements or even the full version of Photoshop your screen is probably going to look different but the basic steps are going to stay the same. I'm going to start by opening the two photos that I want to work with. So I'm going to come up to File, then Open. And these are the two here that I want. So I'll just click on one and then hold down my Shift key and click on the other and then hit Open. And you can see that it has actually opened both photos for me at the same time. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is resize these because these are straight out of my camera. So they're fairly large and what I want to do is resize them to 3 by 4 and we want a resolution of 300 dpi. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to come up to image and then resize and image size. And this dialog box is going to open. Now you can see there's a whole bunch of different measurements here. The pixel dimensions, width and height, that's how many actual pixels or dots per inch are on the photo. And then the document size tells you how large the photo will actually print at its current resolution. So the first thing that I'm going to do is change the resolution to 300. So I'm going to make sure that this resample image box is turned off. And you can see now in the pixel dimension area I can no longer edit that. The only one I can edit is the document size. So I'm going to go ahead and change that resolution to 300 and watch what happens to the width and height when I do that. You can see now that the photo is actually going to print out much smaller. Now I'm going to come up to resample image, click that back on. And now I'm going to change the width and height so that it's the actual size that I want, which is 3 by 4. So I'm going to change the width on this one to 4. And you can see the height automatically changed and the width and height in pixels automatically changed as well. So I'll click on OK. And now I'm just going to minimize that one just by clicking that button. So you can see it's still down here uh, open in the software, but it's not taking up space on my screen. So now I'm going to do the same with this other picture. So I'll go to Image, Resize, Image Size. I'm going to make sure Resample Image is turned off. And then I'm going to change the resolution to 300. Now I'm going to turn resample image back on and you'll notice this scale styles and constrained proportions those are also checked on which is what I want and now I'm going to come up here and change my width and height again to 4, 3. So this time I'm going to change the width to 3 because the photo is vertical instead of horizontal and then click on OK. So now I have my two photos sized the way that I need them sized. So I'm going to minimize this one as well. Now I'm going to come up to File New and I'm going to create a new blank file. And this is the 4x6 that's going to be the final image that I create. So you can see I already have it set up here. The width is 6 inches, the height is 4 inches, the resolution is 300 and that's what you want. So if yours doesn't match that then just type those values in and then click on OK. And now you can see it opens up a new file and it has my 4x6 image. Now I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here. I'm going to go to view and then zoom out just so that I can see right to the edges of the photo. So you can see the white area here, that's the photo itself. And then the gray area is kind of the off the mat part of the file. So now I'm going to come down to my two photos that are in the bottom here in the bin. And I'm just going to click on the first one, hold the mouse button down and drag it up and then let go. And you can see what happens is it actually drops that photo onto my new file. And if you look over on the right hand side here in the layers palette, you can see that now I have the background layer, which is that white layer. And then I have a second layer, which is the first rabbit photo. 
Now I'm just going to pick this up by clicking the mouse button, hold it down, and just drag the photo over. And you'll see as you get close to the edge, it'll just kind of snap to the edge, which is what you want. So now I have half of my 4x6 done. Now I'm going to come down to the other photo, and I'm going to click on it, hold the mouse button down, and drag it up just the same way. Let go and it drops it in place. But now, of course, you can see because it's oriented the other way, it's not actually going to fit. So I need to just flip that. So I'm going to come up to Image, Oops. Rotate, and then I don't want to rotate the whole thing, which is what these top options will do. I want to rotate that one layer. So I'm going to rotate it left. And now you can see that just that one photo has flipped around on us. I'm going to drag that over to the right until it snaps to the edge. And now you can see that you have your finished 4x6 image, but it actually consists of two 3x4 images. So now all you need to do is save that as a JPEG. So I'm going to do File, Save As. And then in the Format drop-down box, I'm going to select JPEG. I'm going to give my file a name. I'll call it New Bunnies. And hit Save. Now it's going to come up and ask me uh, what kind of quality I want the photo to be at. And generally when it's going to be printed out like this, I'm going to drag this little slider all the way over to Large File. And that's going to give me the best quality. And then hit OK. It's going to go ahead and save it. And you've finished creating your first 4x6 picture to print out and use in your pockets. Thanks for joining me.